Okay, everyone, it's uh, uh, January 31st, 2020, and I'm uh, putting this video out today purposefully because it is January the 31st, 2020, and I came across uh, this guy a couple of months ago. Uh, his name is Alan. He's from Canada. He runs a, a, a YouTube channel called Ministry Revealed, Ministry Revealed. Um, and he is, uh, he is a, a flat out date setter and he preaches some extremely dangerous things and he does it in a way, just like a lot of these people do it. It comes across really nice, comes across really confident. I'll use that word right now. Confident. Um, it's very, very intellectual. It's very detailed. He spent a lot of time on this. Um, up front, I will say this guy's not making any money off of this. So he, I don't think he's a fraud in the sense that he's, he's out to make money because he's not making any money. Um, I do think he is terribly deceived and he's deceiving others. He is a deceiver who is also deceived himself. Uh, I watched his videos are like two hours long. Sometimes I thought I had long videos. He's got really long videos where he goes into all this detail and just, I mean, tearing apart words by, I mean, just look at his screen here, all this color coded and words and numbers and cross references. And he's, he's Harold camping. I mean, Harold, if you guys know anything about Harold camping, Harold camping had this elaborate system where he used numbers and years and individual words in the Bible and their prophetic meanings. And he tied them together and he had this massively convoluted system. And um, I've had to watch some of these videos just to try to get the basics of what this guy believes. So I'll, I'll lay those out right here for you. From what I understand, and I'm not trying to uh, misconstrue what the guy believes. I'm just This is what I understand from what I've heard. First of all, he believes that, you know, you don't just read the Bible at its surface level. You have to kind of dig way underneath of it to understand what it's really trying to say. There's more to the Bible than just the words on the page. Um, it's a little bit like codes. He doesn't use that term codes, but he's, he's got mess. He, he looks for messages in the Bible that aren't explicitly there. And then he creates more meaning from those messages. And then he ties it together with other messages and other meanings to make the thing work. Um, he also believes, apparently, that God is, is moving today and giving people new understanding of things in the Bible that we have never had before. I think he stops short of saying revelation, okay, but he dances on the edge of that. Well, we don't have new revelation. The Bible is all the revelation we need, but we just have new understanding of these things that we've never had. And then he finishes that with... Today, right now, and in particular, his ministry, quote unquote, these end times things that I'm talking about are really being understood right now for the very first time. So Alan, according to himself, believes that he alone has broken through and gotten new understanding that others did not have. I'm going to prove that to you right now with his own words. This ministry here in Ministry Revealed, as we were talking yesterday, before I had seen and really grasped this, this verse about a year ago, we were teaching from exactly those things. These things that were about him that still had to come. And so, and what does it say? Then opened he their understanding. He's talking about Jesus they here. might understand the scriptures. So really amazing stuff. And then... Well, that, that caps what's happening here, doesn't it? Yeah. Open up your minds, that's, you know, what, right. what's been revealed to you, which is an anointing. You've been anointed to do this. To, you, you know, this is from the spirit, isn't it? Absolutely. You, I, I've, I would never, without a revelation, know this in, in whatever no, no I've been way. reading over the years. You know, but sorry. Carry on. Yeah. And we've said that, you know, it's um, my wife. <laughs> We talk about it once in a while in the ministry too. My wife just she'll look at me sometimes. I mean, she's been experiencing this now for a little bit over two years with me, and I, I start freaking out sometimes because I'm like, oh my goodness, now look at this. And it's not just about finding this; it's about when you understand who the gospels are speaking mm. to, and you understand the truth of the 14 years. 
these other pieces open up and connect and connect and open up and connect. And we're just like, what? <laughs> and we just start freaking out, you know, in my. All right. So the guy at the top is hosting the guy at the bottom. The guy at the bottom is the guy who thinks he's got this new rebel, this new stuff. The guy at the top is just in awe. And so you heard him say, you know, this is revel. I wouldn't have understood this. He says without revelation, this is what's happening here is God is opening up the scripture so that we can understand. And the guy at the bottom is like, yeah, I just can't believe it, man. It's just crazy. So he's truly believing that he has some new information. Now, he talks about 14 years. He talks about the gospel. I'll get into that in a second. I'm trying to prove to you, though, with his own words, he believes he's got some special knowledge here that's never been uh, revealed before. Here's another clip. That's right. Just like <laughs> it always takes me back, Psalms 90 and 10. I don't believe anybody on earth. And I, it's not, I'm not tooting my horn. It's the spirit that's revealed this who's guided us in all of these understandings. Psalms 90 and 10, as far as I know, in the history of Scripture, it has never been understood until ministry revealed. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's 10 years, a short period of time, six months, and then three and a half years of – Wow, what an arrogant idiot. I, I'm, not, I'm not mincing words. This man is both arrogant and an idiot. How dare he say that stuff? I, I could use a different word, but I'll just use this one. It's dung. This is a pile of steaming dung, sir. And you had better watch your mouth. That's all I'm going to say right now about that. So he's on record as stating, no one in the history of Scripture has understood Psalm 9010 like I do. Just, just wow. That right there... This man, this if this man had a had a congregation here. Once again, we have internet clergy who don't aren't accountable to anybody. If this man had a congregation of people that he had to say that to, who were physically standing in front of him, they could shut him up and make him sit down until he repents of that nonsense. So hopefully he's within earshot of my voice because that is absolutely dangerous. That is absolute evil. This man should be silenced. He should sit down and shut up and take every video off his channel right now, right now. Because so, by the way, I expect that he probably will start taking uh, videos down because, you know, well, here, let's go back to my PowerPoint. So here's essentially what he teaches that he teaches, first of all, that each of the Gospels, actually just Matthew, uh, Mark and Luke, he doesn't include. John, but he says each of the three Gospels was written to a different audience with a different message, and there's all kinds of hidden meanings in them. So he says he says that Matthew is, is written to a Jewish audience, Luke is uh, more Gentile. You should read the Gospels, Mark first, then Luke, then Matthew. Luke, being Gentile in nature, speaks more to the Bride of Christ, which which this man says the Bride of Christ is only a certain portion of the church about 10% of the church. It's the bride of Christ. Now, obviously, he's part of it. It's the part of the bride of the, of, uh, it's part of the church who is particularly in love with Jesus, who has all these special insights and is watching closely for his return. That's the bride. And that's who Luke is speaking to. Then he says that Mark is speaking basically to the left behind church, the 90% of the church that's not the bride. And he says that Matthew is speaking to, quote unquote, Judah, which is more Jewish in nature. As long as you guys understand that, that's what the guy says, okay? Then he says, there's no seven-year tribulation. It's actually 14 years long, and there are three different raptures, all right? So rapture one is 10% of the church, which is the bride. They go first. They go before the 14-year tribulation, and this man is on record as saying that rapture is going to happen today or it could have happened yesterday so he's not giving an exact day and time see again the lying little snakes i'm not giving a dating time i'm not giving a specific day those little lying snakes are saying well it's roughly in this time period and i'm going to show you where he says that so this man believes that he and the other 10 percent of the bride is going to heaven here in the next day next 24 hours the rest of the church, the other 90% of us who are not some of the privileged few that 
understand these things like he does. By the way, I guess he would put the Apostle Paul in that 90%, because the Apostle Paul never said any of this stuff. So they're going to be raptured in the middle of the 14 year. And then the rest of those that are not, even in the church, are going to be raptured post-trib. And I think he means Jews. All right. And they're going to go up and meet us and come back. And All right. So he's like, and, and, and bingo, bango. That's why there's so many people with so many opinions about this. See, they don't understand. It's all free. It's both pre, it's mid, and it's post-trib. Golly gee, what an, what an amazing revelation he says about himself. Okay. Um, so one last thing I'll point out here is <laughs> he's really heavily fixated on the length of a generation from the fig tree. So he's bought into that whole entire absolute lie from the pit of hell that Jesus said that fig trees blooming is a sign of the end. And the fig tree is Israel, and blooming is becoming a nation, and da 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 da. And so we're at, we're at the end of that time period because Israel uh, apparently is finishing up their 70th year right now. No, no, you are wrong. Israel didn't turn 70 in 2018, guys. They actually turned 70 in March of 2019 because they hadn't officially formed a government until. March of 1949. I don't know where he gets that information. I can't find it anywhere. But he thinks that Israel, until they form a government, well, they're not actually a nation. So we're finishing up their 70th birthday, according to him, and we'll turn 71 in 2020. And we've been in their 70th birthday year all this year. What we're going into now. When we keep saying 14 years, 14 years, and it's the 70th year of Israel, what does that mean? If we're in the 70th year of Israel, we know a generation of 70 and that fig tree generation coming back and that fig tree generation of 70. And from this 70th year, where we are currently right now as we're talking, how many years away are we from Christ when he is death and resurrection, which we know is in the early 30s A.D.? If we add 2,000 years from his death and resurrection, from when salvation began, where would we put? Where would that put us? 2032, 2033, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. How many years are we from there? 14. 14 years. <laughs> are you excited 14 a bit now? 14 <laughs> years in the 70th year. See, they're all chortling and laughing and excited. Neither one of these men actually firmly believe what they're saying. They're full of crap. Because if they really believed what they were saying, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. I, I mean, they wouldn't be sitting around so casually talking about it. <laughs> so they wouldn't be wasting their time with two-hour videos trying to explain something. They would just be out on the street preaching the gospel to the lost. That's, that's what I think they would be doing. I don't know. I'm just postulating. So here he is again. This is uh, January 27th, so just a couple of days ago. I think this is the last video that Alan uh, posted um, until today. See, guys, we're here. Repent. Keep from sin. Harold Camping. And be watching and praying. As the Harold Camping said the same thing just days before his deadline. Scriptures have told us to do because we are literally at the doorstep. The doorstep, we are right here. We said 40 days before, guys. 40 days before. That March 10th is right around the time when he says Israel turns 71 and exits their 70th year. That equals right in here. Which is, They're announcing it here. Which is today and yesterday. Uh, Today and yesterday. He told them six weeks to get their act together, to jump on it and get it done. So, you guys, this guy is date setting, plain and simple. Um, by the way, I, I've watched other videos of his where he admitted he was wrong in the past. So he, I've, I've listened to at least three other occasions in the last two years where the man has been wrong. He set other dates and said, yeah, you know, we really thought it was going to happen that day and, and it didn't. 
And so we had something kind of off, you know, but blah, blah, blah. I'm going to move on because I'm arrogant and full of myself and I'm enjoying all the attention I'm getting. And we, isn't this fun to talk about? And uh, what a fool. What an absolute fool. So he is saying absolutely positively when Israel officially turns 71 on March 10th, he just showed you on his calendar. So all you non-date setter people out there, that's setting a date. So putting it in a time frame like that, <laughs> he says that's going to begin the official 14-year tribulation. We should rapture before that, most likely 40 days prior, which is around today at the latest. Hey, Alan, I will see you tomorrow if I'm still breathing and you're still breathing. I will see you tomorrow. I want a full apology to all the people you misled, like this poor man that was interviewing you in the last video. This poor, okay, this poor man that you can't see for some reason. Here, let me see if I can get it to pop in. Oh, yeah. Our Slanian Brothers is the name you can trust in Northern Ohio. For yeah, isn't that hilarious? It is. It is. So here we are. It's <laughs> I'm glad that played. You know why, guys? Because here we are. It's the end of the world. We're days, hours from being whisked to heaven and leaving behind all kinds of people who are going to go through tr turmoil for seven years, and then more people are leaving, and then seven more years of hell, and people going to hell for it, and on and on. Yeah, but let's 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 uh, monetize our videos. Let's, let's let YouTube play advertisements in front of our videos where we're telling people the time is short, sh short, sh short. Hey, sir, do you even pay attention to a single thing you're actually saying? You can't even spell the words that you're trying to warn people with. What what is this garbage? Let's 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 let me spend some time in the chat because it is, it's it's happening. Is it really? We're, we're, the, the, the door is there. It's open. Can Sir, anyone... you're a fool. Run away from this Allen guy. Get a brain in your head. Have you ever even have you ever even looked at history before? When are you people going to learn? What are you going to learn? If you want to have all these crazy fantasies in your own time, in your own privacy of your own home, and talk about them with your friends, be, all, be, be my guest. But don't get on YouTube in public and tell 1,500 subs that this is what's going to happen, that you know the future, you fool. You want to see the ladder. You know, let's get on it. It's got to be time to go any day now. Um, no, it isn't. It's certainly... Let's reiterate, the 70 years ends on March the 10th. Why? Of, of Israel. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't in any way, shape, or form. By the way, here's my prediction. So this is... I'm... Whichever clock, calendar, whatever we're looking at, there's a fact on the Gregorian oh, calendar. Oh, really? That's a fact? There's the fact on the Gregorian calendar that we cannot take away. Can't take it away. It's... So when this fails, what are you going to say then, you fool? That's a fact. Okay. Then after tomorrow, shut up. I expect you'll go away and never talk about this again because the fact is a fact, right? So you're never going to talk about this after tomorrow, right? Would be unfulfilled prophecy if it didn't start the tribulation so you're going on record. i just recorded you saying that you just went on record as saying if this doesn't happen it will be unfulfilled prophecy so tomorrow you either repent for saying that foolish nonsense or throw your bible in the garbage and become an atheist you only have two choices if you get on youtube tomorrow and start making making up excuses <laughs> you little liar Repent of that nonsense. You make the rest of the church look like a bunch of idiots. So here's my final prediction. The entire pre-trib ridiculous nonsense end time speculator community is playing absolutely ape crap right now. They've got they've got a pestilence running around the world with the coronavirus, which we will all forget about in a year. I guarantee you. <laughs> We're not even gonna be talking about that in a year. Number two, we have Trump's deal of the century, which is not new news. It's the same retread 
as we've had for years. We've got Iran threatening and some Middle Eastern tensions heightening. Wow, that's never happened before in our entire history. You know, but, but you know, we got the 70th year. We got people stretching the boundaries of what 70 years means. We got this on and on and on. Everybody's going cr crazy over this. In a year, this will all be forgotten. And all these idiots will, will, will be given a pass. All these people will have gone on to something new. Here's what they're going to do. Here's what I predict that Alan is going to do. You ready, Alan? I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to claim that, well, you know what, though? Gosh, for the past almost year, Israel has not had a government. Israel hasn't had a government for a year. So technically, Israel's statehood has been put on hold for many, many months. So really, that 70-year time clock, it just stopped. And it's been paused until Israel forms a government again. And then it's going to start again. So then we have to do the math on that. So the 70 years, since it wasn't really 70 until it formed a government, it wasn't, it wasn't really born until it formed a government. Magically, without a government all of 2019, it isn't actually existing. That's my prediction that Alan's going to do. This little snake liar is going to come up with something like that. By the way, I, I don't doubt that uh, some of the other... Uh, you know, fig tree generation liars. I wouldn't doubt those people are going to say the same thing. Yeah, you know what? We had a year there where Israel wasn't really a nation because they didn't have a government. Mark my words. Guys, I'm really angry. This is getting so tiresome. But you know what? I really hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. First of all, I'm not wrong about the rapture. There ain't no rapture going to happen. I really hope I'm wrong about Alan. I hope he repents. I hope he gets on his YouTube channel tomorrow or next week and says, guys, I'm done. I'm out of business. I'm not doing this anymore. I apologize. I repent. I never should have made those videos. I'm taking them all offline. Don't date said it's foolishness. It goes against the Bible. And, and by the way, what's in the Bible is what's in the Bible, not what's in my little brain. <laughs> my little brain doesn't get to concoct whatever thing I feel like concocting and then claim it's from God. I repent. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I hope that's what happens.